like having precognitive dreams, you know. I talked about having a precognitive dream when I was a kid of uh, dreaming, laying on the couch, sleeping at night, and dreaming of seeing a, um, seeing my brother with a match and just thrown in the garbage can, and then the garbage can just phew, fire flames. And then seconds after that, I woke up, like startled, got up, stood at like right before heading into the kitchen and saw him do that. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's like warning signs. A lot of times the dreams will bring this insight to you. And I was having a lot of things like that happen, but I couldn't talk to anybody about it. So I isolated myself a little bit because I knew that a lot of the people that I knew would not, you know, they would not take too kindly to me talking about things like that. I've talked about things like this before with my family, um, and they were just kind of like, yeah, whatever type of thing. But then when I moved in with my sister, it was a different thing here to California. She was more open to talking about psychic abilities and things of that nature. She even talked about her spirit guide and everything. and how she used to uh, use playing cards as tarot cards. And she would do readings when she lived in uh, Mississippi. So I, I kind of moved in an ideal situation <laughs> when I moved from Chicago to here to California, uh, fortunately. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of people become social, socially just unacceptable by the world when they have too many views that don't fall in line with what everybody else is thinking, so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this smoke session talking about social anxiety <coughs> and how it starts. Um, some people don't like hearing like labels and things like that, but everybody's got labels on them. Like you've got a name, you've got, that's your label. <laughs> we, we wouldn't have all these labels and shit if we were just allowed to just be who we are and people not being, judging us so harshly for expressing ourselves. As long as we're not hurting anyone else or ourselves, um, I don't see what the problem is of free expression, you know, as long as that rule is intact. <laughs> no harming you or anyone else, then let's get it. Why not? Why not? But that's just not the society we live in yet. But it seems like we're slowly just pushing ourselves in that direction. So, definitely. So thank you for joining me today for today's show about, uh, yeah, social anxiety, like I said. <laughs> Repeat there. Uh, yeah, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. So leave your comments down below on what you think of today's topic. And if you have any questions about cannabis and social anxiety, you can leave it in the comment section, and then I can answer it on an upcoming... God, my eye, my eyelashes. I mean, my eye my eyelash, <laughs> my eyelid is itching. And um, I can uh, answer it on an upcoming video. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, this weather is just so dry right now here in California, at least Northern California. Alrighty guys, have a great day, peace.